Hi there and welcome to our video on how to trade at Kraken. After watching this video, you will know everything you need to know on how to trade at Kraken. Covering topics from spot and futures trading, market and limit orders, take profit and stop loss setting, leverage and much, much more. I am Jonas, co-founder and CEO of Hocktrade, the behavioral trading analytics platform for active traders. I guide you through the video with plenty of real trades for you to follow. We will cover quite a few things in this video, so feel free to jump to the chapter which interests you the most. If you are a new trader at Kraken, it will be best to watch the whole video from the beginning, as we will cover quite some basics on how to trade. First, we will cover spot trading and execute an example market order. Second, we will execute a futures trade with a limit order. Third, I will show you how to adjust your leverage in futures trading. Fourth, we will set a take profit and stop loss. Fifth, we will have a look how to execute a coin margin versus a USD margin trade. And last, I show you how to reconcile all your past trades by looking at the order history at Kraken. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I am here logged into my Kraken account and we want to perform a spot trade. Spot trade means you exchange one currency for another currency. We have some US dollar on the account and let's say we would like to buy some Bitcoin with it. If you want to transfer crypto from or to Kraken, we have made a separate video on it. I link it up here for you and also put the link down below in the description. In the upper navigation bar, we find the trade tab here and click it. This brings us to the following page. Personally, I prefer to trade through the Kraken Pro interface though. So let's click launch the new experience. As a first step, we will find the correct trading pair we want to trade. As said, we want to buy Bitcoin with our US dollar. We click here on the top left, select spot here and find BTC USD. If you would have Tether, so USDT on your account, you could also find the BTC USDT pair here by typing in USDT in the search navigation. We have USD though, hence let's select BTC USD. There is quite some information on this page, but it is actually quite easy. So let's go step by step. Let's have a look at the left here first of all. We want to buy Bitcoin, so make sure buy is selected for this field. Next, we want to make sure we have market order selected here. We will do a limit order later on when trading futures. For a market order, you buy the Bitcoin at the best available price, while in a limit order, you specify for which price you would buy the Bitcoin. And the trade will only get executed if someone is willing to trade with you at the price you specified. The fees for those different orders differ a lot either being the maker or the taker on the trade. As this is so important and can have a big effect on your performance, we also made a separate video on it. Again, I link it here and put the link in the description. Now, let's say we want to buy Bitcoin for 10 US dollar. We go to the field total here and type in the amount 10. Here on the left, you can see how much Bitcoin we are getting for our 10 US dollar. As a last step, we only have to click on the green buy button and that's it already. We've bought the Bitcoin through a spot market order. Because it was a market order, it is directly executed. What is also interesting to see here is the fee levels. As you can see, the spot fee levels for trades at Kraken are at 0.16 and 0.26% for maker and taker trades which is actually rather high compared to other exchanges. However, I also do not have much volume here and Kraken actually has some very interesting fee levels as well for other traders. You can find a detailed analysis on the fees and tier levels at Kraken up here and I'll also put the link down below in the description. As a second step, let's perform a futures trade now with a limit order. In order to trade futures at Kraken, we actually have to go to a different website, which is futures.kraken.com. For both spot and futures trading, I'll put the link in the description as well. From time to time, we can offer additional bonuses if signing up through those links. 
I'm logged into my futures account and we want to perform a USDM maker trade, so through a limit order. To do so, we again first of all have to find the correct trading pair to trade. In our case, the Bitcoin perpetual with multi-collateral. I'll show you later on how you can trade coin margin futures with single collateral. As we want to perform a limit order, we have to specify a price and amount of Bitcoin we want to buy at this price. Let's say we want to buy 0.001 Bitcoin, so going long. We make sure we have buy selected up here in green. We could also select sell or short, then we would have to select the sell field here. In US dollar, this 0.001 Bitcoin buy is actually more than we have on the wallet. But as we can use up to 50 times leverage, we can perform trades much larger than our margin. Now we have to specify a price we are willing to buy these 0.001 Bitcoin for. For this example, we just set it just below the current market price. So hopefully it will be executed soon. The last step is now to click on place buy order and wait for our trade to be executed. We can see down here that our order is now listed in the open order tab. If we want, we could edit or delete this order here as well. Now, our order is executed and we can see it here under open positions. As this is just for showcasing, we can actually choose now how to close this order. We could either close it through another limit order, so specifying the price again, or close it through a market order, meaning it is executed right away. Let's close it with a market order. Click here on market, yes on the pop-up and done. Our order is closed. Next, let's have a look how we can adjust our leverage at Kraken. To do so, we click up here on cross. If we want to specify the leverage we use, we have to click on isolated margin up here. In cross margin, all your holdings in the allowed coins such as Bitcoin, USDT and so on are counted as margin. While in isolated margin, you can specify which holding is allowed to be used as margin. If choosing isolated margin, you can manually adjust the leverage between 1 to 50 here. Margin here means that in order to buy or sell a token worth 50 US dollar, for example, you would need one US dollar as margin or collateral in order to execute this trade in case using 50 times leverage. If you do not have enough margin anymore, your trade will be automatically liquidated. In point four of this video, let's have a look at setting a take profit and stop loss for your trade. This is extremely important for traders as it guards you from large losses. Good traders always know how much they would be willing to lose at max with a trade and this will decide their stop loss. By setting one, they make sure they are not going to lose more. Absolutely critical in a good risk and money management system. At Hawk Trade, we even developed an analysis how well you set your take profits and stop losses and check if you could on average improve your performance in case you set them a bit tighter or further away. Hocktrade is actually designed for traders with a bit of experience already, which really want to deep dive in their trading, find improvement potentials towards profitability and take their trading to the next level. However, we also encourage new traders to start tracking their behaviors right from the beginning as it makes their learning process much, much more efficient. As an active trader, there are many biases, emotions and traps you may tap into, leading to continuous trading losses. This is where behavioral analytics comes into play. So you exactly understand what type of trading behaviors you have that keep making you losses, but also understand in what type of situations you gain on average. You may overtrade your account, not being able to focus on your currently open positions, revenge trade after a loss, so trying to make up your losses very quickly without having a clear mind again when entering the market, or keep trading during very high market volatility, which is very difficult, while you actually make good profits during low volatility. Those and the other 40 plus Patterns Hocktrade tracks are pretty common, 
but only few traders actually know about and work on them to improve their trading. Many traders rather tend to try finding a better indicator or signal provider, but trading success is actually much more about yourself, your behaviors and emotions. If you are interested, feel free to join our Discord server. All information and updates about Hawk Trade will be there. You can ask questions and discuss with our community of traders. The link is in the description of the video. Now back to setting your take profit and stop loss at Kraken. In order to do so, we activate the stop loss and take profit buttons here on the bottom of the trade input ask, which will pop up the price fields for our take profit and stop loss. If we specify the stop loss and take profit level already before entering the trade, they will be automatically set once the trade is executed. But we can also add them to an ongoing current position actually by placing additional limit orders at the designated take profit or stop loss level. For example, to set a take profit in a long trade, place a sell limit order above the current market price at the level we would like to exit our trade. We could also set a trigger order, so our take profit will be executed as a market order instead of a limit order. But this is more advanced and beyond the content of this video. If you are interested in some of the more advanced trading at Kraken, also discussing the upsides and downsides, for example, of stop loss and take profit with trigger orders as market versus limit orders or anything else, let us know down in the comments. We would love to hear the content you are interested in. Point five of this video is about coin margin versus USD margin trades at Kraken. So far we have performed USD margin trades. So let's have a look how we can perform coin margin ones. The difference between USD margin futures and coin margin futures is their base currency. Coin margin futures are settled in their base currency. So in case of a Bitcoin perpetual, this is Bitcoin. Trading a Bitcoin coin margin future, you can just hold Bitcoin in your account and use this as your collateral. If you're bullish on Bitcoin long term and would like to hold this as collateral, this might be the better option for you. On the other hand, USD margin futures are settled in US dollar. Note that the market depth and volume of coin margin futures is oftentimes lower though. Nevertheless, coin margin futures have the upside, so let's have a look how you can perform trades in those. To trade them at Kraken, we go back to the trading pair navigation here on the top right and find the single collateral category. If we want to trade Bitcoin, we choose the Bitcoin perpetual here on the right. Right now we do not have collateral to trade this. In order to trade coin margin futures, we need to hold the corresponding asset in our single collateral futures wallet. To check that wallet, click on the little wallet sign here on the left. We have nothing in our single collateral futures wallet right now. However, have a little Bitcoin here in our holding wallet. Let's transfer it to our single collateral futures wallet by clicking the transfer symbol here on the right. Choose the wallet we want to transfer the Bitcoin to, select the amount and let's click submit transfer. Okay, now we see we have the Bitcoin in the single collateral wallet. Let's go back to the trading window. Now we can see that we can actually place the trade. The process is pretty much the same as in the USD margin futures. We can select limit or market order, enable stop loss and take profit. The only difference is that we do not input the amount of Bitcoin usually, but the amount of contracts we want to trade in US dollar. For this example, let's have another market order and short sell 10 US dollar worth of Bitcoin. We click place sell order and we are in the trade. I close it right away again with another market order. Whether trading coin margin or USD margin futures is a preference and may be influenced by your trading strategy. Personally, I trade more USD margin futures as it is easier in handling and usually volume, market depth and spreads are better. But this depends on the trader. You know now how to trade both. 
Last but not least, let's reconcile the trades we just did and see where you can find all the information on your past trades. In order to do so, we click on the lock symbol here in the navigation on the left. Let's select trades here and you can see all the past trades. We can see the trades here, which we just did as an example, the 10 contract for the coin margin Bitcoin future, but also the previous 0 0.001 Bitcoin USD margin futures trades. What is especially interesting in this view is that we can also see the fees we paid for those trades. As already touched upon earlier in this video, the fees can make quite a big difference for traders, oftentimes deciding whether a trader is profitable or not. The fees among exchanges differ significantly, so traders should always be aware of how much fees they actually pay and whether they could save fees. With so many exchanges and different fee levels in all the tier levels, a manual comparison is pretty much impossible. So it's best to use a tool such as Dr. Fee. Here you can just enter your trading volume in spot and futures trading, your share of maker and taker trades, your balance and holding of the native exchange token, and then within seconds, see exactly how much fees you would pay for those trades at all the large exchanges. Even in an example like this, with only 200,000 US dollar spot volume and 2 million US dollar futures volume, mostly still being in the lowest tier level at the different exchanges, the savings add up to many thousand US dollar per year. In this example, the trader would pay more than 18,000 US dollar per year in fees at Bitfinex, while only paying roughly 9.4k at Crypto.com. If you want to check your own fees as well, I put the link to Dr. Fee also down below in the description. All right, if you think you got some valuable information from this video, we would highly appreciate if you leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. We continue to develop lots of content for traders, both beginners and advanced. If you have things that interest you, leave us a comment. We are happy to take suggestions for things that interest you all about trading crypto. Thank you for watching, stay safe and happy trading. Please be aware that we at Hocktrade are no financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purpose only.